hello and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to talk about when we finished the TEFL course and the process in which I did get finally my first teaching job or position okay so we're done with you know the week of studying and partying we did the exam thankfully we passed you know at the first stage which was great we didn't have to retake it and now we have to do basically a mock class whereby the owners of that agency because it was an agency would decide what class you are more suited to because they also had veteran teachers that would see our style and of course you know we came forward with what we thought we wanted to do and what class we thought we would enjoy but at the same time they would see how we teach or our level of energy and they would recommend where we should be placed now i wanted to be placed with primary school because i was like i don't know about little kids you know like you know the ones that are too tiny i'm like ah, i don't mm, help so i was like primary school you know they're young enough to want to learn but old enough not to like be too much hassle boy boy that will come but anywho i did my mock class i was terrified i had no idea you know what i was doing and it was just in front of like you know people that we had that we had been trained by right and i was like wow you know i'm so nervous right now i don't even know but anyways long story short i get placed in a high school i'm like Why am I in a high school again? I said primary school, worst case scenario, put me in a kindergarten. These people just threw me in a high school. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. It was such a struggle for me to get my position, right? Because I, as I, as I said, I think in the first video, I had my degree from the Netherlands and our graduation was in November. Hence, it was very hard for me to get my degree earlier on. So, you know, emails back and forth. Thank God for my family. You know, they were able to get the initial transcript. So not like the final document, but they, they were able to get the transcript. But they said that it wasn't good enough. It had to be like, you know, the actual graduation letter, whatever. So I tried to get it as soon as possible and I got it sent to my sister's house, but then it had to be not notarized for it to you know be accepted by the Chinese government it was just a mess but eventually I was able to get it I feel was it September yeah I think mid end of September finally you know I got all my documentation I had my TEFL done and they were still giving me trouble and I wasn't understanding I'm like what do you guys want you know I've done everything we spent so much money to get these papers you know and now you're giving me trouble because <laughs> So basically with uh, China in general, you do have schools that are in the city. So in that case, I was in Chengdu and I wanted to stay in the city of Chengdu. And then you have, you know, the, the schools in the outskirts, you know, where there's not like that much transportation, you know, and to be honest, there's not that much to do, right? So if you're there, you know, you're the only foreigner, right? Even if you're white, you know, you're the only foreigner. So they're going to see you and you're gonna be like a different one for me as a black person to be honest like even being in the city i was getting looks because there weren't that many people that looked like me you know that were teaching in Chengdu. and basically what the agency staff was saying was oh yeah we can't place her in the school because you know they're not used to black people right there, there. let's put her in the village and they weren't telling me this but thankfully one of the um, one of the managers he is Turkish and he's like, you know, this is what's happening, you know, and that's why they're taking it, you know, they're taking their time. I'm like, I am not going into a village, you know, it's hard enough to be here and getting looks and getting pictures and videos taken of me. I don't want to be, you know, like somewhere where I don't know anyone. There's nobody that is foreign like me. It's just, it's going to be a struggle. So I don't want to go there. If they can't place me, then that's fine. You know, they just have to say it to my face. So eventually they gave in and they placed me into this high school so i feel like they didn't place me there because they felt like oh this is what i can do i think they placed me there because it was the only place that would according to them take me but anyway 
I went into the high school and I did my first class there. It was like um, a demo class, a demo lesson. But usually demo lessons are like 20 minutes. I had to do a 45 minutes demo lesson, right? And you know, this manager, uh, the Turkish manager, he uh, gave me this game. He's like, yeah, this game is basically student proof, right? Like if you walk in with this game, you know, it's going to be a hit, blah, blah, blah. So I walk in with one game thinking my demo class is going to be 20 minutes, but no, it wasn't. Now, <laughs> picture me, right? I walk in with one of the staff members, you know, she's Chinese, and we walk in the school and these kids behaving like they've never seen a black person, which I don't think they, they had, you know, because I was just so confused, you know, they were like, <gasps> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was funny right and you know but i took it like oh you know bless them they probably never seen a black person whatever so i was walking and you know uh, kids were kind of following me but hiding type of stuff because they weren't really sure about who i was what i was doing the blah blah and then i walk in this class and it's just boys i was like great so my first class is uh, with 17 year old boys great and i walked in and they were just looking at me like what is she doing here type of stuff and you know i started with the game where they were basically divided in groups and i think uh each row had to like stand up and say like a sentence in english if they couldn't say the sentence then they would have to like come and pick something and then you know the 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 one team would decide or if this team is getting an extra life or or they're getting you know the life taken away and stuff like that anyways it brought a lot of competition amongst them and they were super excited you know like five ten minutes into it you know they were like they were ready for it you know they were out here taking lives and stuff you know they enjoyed it they had a blast and i had so much fun you know this was my first time ever teaching anyone and when i walked in you know i felt like i was in a haze i was like oh my days you know like i've never done this before and i walked in and the moment i stood there i wasn't scared like it, it, everything just flowed so organically and i was like oh my god i loved it i absolutely loved my first day of class however i had only one game but because it was so like you know i was i was new the, the game was new for them blah 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 you know we we had a blast right so you know we kept on going back and forth back and forth by the time i knew it 45 minutes were gone and i had the job you know because that's how it is right usually you approach a school they ask you come to a demo lesson if they and the students like you then they take you so you know i did that demo class and you know by God's grace, everything went well. They took me on and I was terrified. I was like, that was one class. You know, I had like several class, several classes to teach and I didn't have as much work as I hoped I would get. You know, I had, I think I was working like three days a week. And yeah, it was full days, but it was just three days a week, right? So I eventually, I was placed in a primary school <laughs> that was horrible i absolutely hated it i was